They've been targeting and terrorizing me while they were trying to find legal counsel that had that whose birthday added up to the same as my birthday, which is 111. Now, my grandmother's name was Carrie, okay? So they went and found a Carrie Miller Choco and they made her um, their counsel. Now she replaces the Bowdoin dude who was a racist that required women to sit on opposite sides of the table as men in government hearings when they or government meetings when they went to DC. Lynn Fiker wrote about it and submitted it to the EEOC. But Jackson National kept him on for years after that until they hired um, the Goatley person and then also Julia Goatley and then also this person. Laura Priestcorn, the person that is the current CEO, she's the person that's been arranging all of this with their uh, with their legal counsel. One of their uh, internal counsels was uh, Snickering Schultz. I call him Snickering Schultz because in my deposition, he was sitting at the edge of the table next to the cameras while they were recording me. And Gerald Leonard Matman, who's Donald Trump's attorney, was asking a question. And then I was responding, and then Snicker and Schultz thought my comments were funny. He thought what was happening to me at Jackson National was funny enough for him to burst out in laughter in the hearing. And then I questioned my attorney about that, um, Justin Plaskoff and the EEOC attorney about that after um, the deposition, and, you know, he didn't come back for the next day. He didn't come back the next day, but they kept him employed at Jackson National, and then they gave him a huge bonus to retire because he helped them orchestrate this, this, this scheme with Susan Sperber, who is Judge Magistrate Shane Cato Cruz's um, colleague. He was working at the same firm that was helping uh, his the attorneys for Jackson was helping to rig our case. And that's why they will open discovery to um, correct the fraud that has occurred because Jackson was submitting fraudulent evidence. So basically, they got rid of the evidence. They shut down the company in Colorado and moved it to Tennessee and Michigan. They desegregated it from the stock exchange with Prudential. Prudential went over to London so they can commit all kind of crime and fraud over there because that's what the exchanges are known for. And they got off the New York Stock Exchange with Rudy Loeffler, even though she's known to be doing, you know, some criminal things, too, like she did in Congress. That's why she was helping Donald Trump try to overthrow the government with Marsha Blackburn. All of them went in on it. That's why the, uh, the FBI and the DOJ is ignoring Rudy Giuliani and Kathy Latham meeting in person to go with their scheme that AG Chris Carr and the GBI is pretending not to investigate. But they want to over here and try to designate somebody unstable. I, I'm very consciously clear and alert. I know exactly what the hell is going on. 